Hello and welcome to this overview on Generation AM, ION's new Collaborative Asset Management front-end. This video is meant as an introductory quick start for the main features. Upcoming videos will deal in depth with the individual topics. As we all know, every VFX pipeline on this planet is different and there are many ways to skin a cat. But since Generation can be easily adapted to any existing workflow, there are even more ways to make your VFX life easier. Playback has never been faster and managing your VFX project has never been more streamlined. Faster in this case means that Generation is perfectly capable of even playing back 4K stereo files with more than 120 frames per second. Streamlined means that Generation is fully scriptable and all data is XML based to interact with the outside world. So let's get started. Just as a preface, when working with a tablet, you want to open the Settings Preferences from the Project button and enable tablet compatible sliders. There are multiple ways of starting Generation. Of course you could double click on the icon, but if you want to use Generation just as a fast and convenient player, you could also drag any image from a sequence onto the icon. Generation will start up, ready for playback. As you can see here, the workspace is divided into two main areas. The storyboard, a visual representation of your project, and the play view, where you can play footage back and add annotations. To switch between these two, you can either press tab on your keyboard or double click on any item to play it back directly. Whenever generation starts up, a new empty project will be created in editing mode. There will be more on the different modes later in this video. Empty projects are the ideal playground for a quick review of shots or for creating a new project from scratch. Each project can contain an unlimited number of sub-projects and each of those subs can contain individual playlists, for example, to create different localized versions of the same commercial. If you intend to use the project at a later stage, make sure to save it by selecting Save As from either the project menu or the project button. This brings us to one of the big advantages of Generation. Generation is totally open to the outside world and hence can be tailored to fit any existing pipeline. For example, the entire structure is based on XML, which means that projects can be passed with or even created from other applications such as your favorite in-house shot tracking system. But not only the projects, also all other components like chat, user metadata and configuration files are XML based. There will be more on this in upcoming videos. In addition to that, Generation is scriptable via both Lua and Python, opening up a plethora of possibilities to further integrate into your pipeline or automate repetitive tasks. Examples for this are the buttons above the time ruler, which are user-definable since they reflect the folder structure and scripts in Generation's scripting folder, as well as the user bar, which can be used to execute commands or run internal or external scripts. As you can see, you can even tailor Generation's functionality for different users, from the VFX supervisor to the Roto artist. But back to handling footage. There are several ways of bringing footage into Generation. You could use the Load to Media function. Either right-click anywhere in an empty space of the storyboard and select Load Media, or use the Load to Media button directly above the Play controls. From the Explorer window, you can now select an image file and Generation will pass the sequence and attach it to your mouse pointer as a thumbnail. Move the mouse to the desired location on the storyboard and left-click to drop the sequence or right-click to cancel the operation. You can achieve the same result by dragging files directly from the Explorer window. Either drag any image out of a sequence or drag the entire folder onto the storyboard. 
You can even drag either multiple folders or a top folder which contains multiple subfolders to add footage to generation. Multiple sequences will be added as individual clips, ready for playback and review. If you need single images or still frames out of a sequence, hold down control while dragging the desired image onto the storyboard. Instead of using the sequence, Generation will now use just that one image with a default length of 50 frames. In the storyboard, you can also arrange multiple versions of each clip. Just drag and drop a new version on top of an existing one. To change the length of a clip, either use the time ruler or right-click on the numerical fields to bring up a calculator interface. With the calculator, you could either use your mouse or pen or the numerical pad on your keyboard to enter values. To change the order of clips, just click in the top area and drag the clip to a new position. The same counts for rearranging versions. Keep in mind that all these actions can only be taken when the project is in editing mode. In locked mode, everything but adding notes or paint annotations will be prohibited. Back to versions for a second. Versions could be literally different versions of the same footage or different items that make up a composition, like green screen material, background and CG renders. To make multiple items into a fusion composition, press B to box select them, then press Ctrl C and in Fusion press Ctrl V to paste them as individual loaders. Alternatively, you can select Make a Comp from the context menu. You can also drop fusion compositions directly onto the storyboard. Generation will parse the composition for savers and add it to the storyboard like any other clip. You can tell from the word comp in the upper right corner of the thumbnail that the clip is actually a fusion composition. Right click on the thumbnail and select Edit Comp to open and modify the composition in Fusion. Select Save Increment to create a new version of the composition. If there are multiple savers in a composition, Pressing 1 to 9 on your keyboard allows to select the saver you want to play back. Alternatively, you can name the desired saver default in the Fusion Comp. Or press J to bring up the metadata dialog to modify other settings or enter or modify the metadata of the item itself. There will be more about handling metadata in upcoming videos. Tightly connected to metadata are other great management aids, which are the management icons or micons next to each clip. From top to bottom there are status, assign, custom and notes. The last icon is the proxy indicator. Status allows to set and indicate the completion status of a shot. Assign allows to assign a shot or task to any artist in your facility. Right-click on the Micon to bring up a larger dialog. The S behind each entry is the Select button. Clicking on it will create a new sub-project containing only the clips with the selected status or assignment. The value of the Micons can also be used for filtered playback. From the menu, you can select to, for example, only playback clips that are greenlit and have been worked on in this case by Eric. The content of the Micons, as well as the actions that should be taken when they are changed, can also be set in the appropriate sections of the preferences. For example, you can set to automatically send an email to the artist when he gets assigned to a shot including such diverse information as the link to the pre-made fusion composition. The filter menu gives access to yet another level of filtering your clips. In this case, all the clips metadata can be queried. The filter preferences allow to set up sophisticated filtering 
and change the color of the menu entry for fast visual reference. The custom icon gives a quick overview on selected metadata fields. The edit button allows to define which fields of the metadata should be displayed in the menu. Notes show an overlay of existing notes for each item. Double-clicking opens the Notes Editor, which basically is an integrated chat client. Each artist having access to the project can participate in the chat to quickly exchange ideas or jot down comments. Again, these notes are stored as individual XML files, which means that comments could be added using other programs as well. Another way to add comments to your media are paint annotations. In the play view select paint from the context menu. Paint annotations can be made valid for just a single frame or for the entire clip. Following generation's open project approach, the annotations are stored as simple TIFF files in dedicated folders. Again, this allows to add annotations from within other applications as well. While we are in the play view, let's have a look at LUTs and guides as well. Generation can load a variety of LUT formats. Five LUTs can be preloaded into the LUT buttons, which provides a quick way to check your footage under different conditions. Next to the LUT buttons, you see the screen player color adjust. Right click to open the controls and fine tune the colors. Similar to the clips color adjust, which is applied to individual clips, you can even load CDLs here. A bit further to the right you see the guide buttons. Guides are overlays that allow to judge things like safe frame violation or different cropping formats. Right click on a button to load a guide and left click on the button to switch any guide on or off. As you can see, multiple guides can be active at any time. And once again, even the guides are based on simple XML files. Feel free to create your own. The integrated proxy engine comes in handy to reduce network bottlenecking when your original files are sitting on a remote location. Either choose from one of the user-definable proxy resolutions or create a mirror of the original files on your local disk to speed up file access and playback. Next to the proxy menu, you'll find the notification menu. All changes made to status or assign are reflected here and emails could be sent out in batch mode to the associated artists. At the end of the day, you want to render out your dailies. Press R to bring up the render dialog which allows for a variety of different output formats and provides options to burn in timecode or annotations. This concludes the introductory video to Generation AM. Stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials here on our YouTube channel and check out our website for an evaluation copy. Generation AM. Just change the speed you work.